Hello guys, I hope you're doing well today. It's me Hash from Capture Media and I'm going pretty much straight into it. We're going to be showing you how to um, airbrush within Aperture. This is Aperture 3 that I'll be using. Uh, I've got a photo of a model here, which is um, not being airbrushed. You know, she, you can see her um, uh, acne that she's got and the freckles that she's got. Um, it's actually surprised, I don't know if you guys know, but 100% um, of photos within magazines and and you know kind of glossy magazines you all you know 100 of them are airbrushed none of them are natural you'll never ever find something natural so yeah so um, one of the facts that um i think you guys should know but yeah i'll pretty much get into this uh, straight away um the first thing to do once you've got your photo up just head over to adjustments and you want to mess around here with the um simple photo uh colors and that so the tent be all right. The tint you want to fairly put that up to pull out um, a few of the natural colors. The exposure you want to put a bit down actually, so you can see the blacks. Recovery, I'll leave that. Black point you want to put out by a little bit. Brightness, it's up to you because afterwards you're going to be changing these things anyway. Brightness, I want to, I like to keep it a bit down anyway. Contrast, contrast is a big one. I'm gonna slightly pull it up so you can get the colours out which are actually hidden in and you can um, smooth those over. I'll leave the definition. Uh, saturation. I'll put it a bit up so you can see her cheeks. The vibrancy you wanna slightly pull up as well so you can pull out the colours. Highlights to put up a tad bit. Shadows. She actually needs the shadows. And then these um uh, the levels and the color they're more a bit more advanced so i would leave them out so you head over down here to um, the paintbrush and the first thing you go to is retouch and what retouch is is pretty much just uh, little freckles that you could see and you can get rid of them in little spots and the acne that you can see so you can mess around with the i'll basically i'll put a bit up mess around with the radius uh, so yeah, I just kind of go around looking for any bigger ones that she's got. She's got quite a few on her forehead. So yeah, you're gonna be careful where you hit this. You don't wanna go around the edges too much, or else you smooth them out and it won't look natural. So yeah, just do a few. And then. I'll go to skin smoothing. Skin smoothing the main one that we're going to use. You want to pull up the brush size a, a fair bit and the softness. And you want to go kind of in a down motion. You want to go to the natural movement of the, the natural curve of the face. So you kind of want to go down like that. Actually, I think that's a bit too strong. So I'll put the strength down a bit. Same strength down. Put the softness down. Yeah, we got that spit well. So yeah, I'm just kind of going around the edges here. I'll put detect edges on so that um, the brush knows that when an edge appears, so it won't kind of go over there and hit the hair. Uh, don't I don't want to do too much of the eyes yet. So yeah, the hair's there. So you can really see there's a big change from the previous oil. And then you want to put the strip down and the brush size pretty small and you want to go around the little edges here the eyes is a big one the eyes you have to be very careful i'm going to put the softness up actually and just go stroke your little strokes up and down tiny little strokes like that put the brush size a bit up again this around here And then the first tool is if you want to do just the eyes there because the feather one is much more um, light you can kind of do the you can hit go over with a feather tool I advise you guys to go over the lips and get a bit more contrast out of them and then I go back to the retouch I can see the leftover ac acne that that's there 
kind of just go along with the skin curve. And then what you get is the wrinkle lines, which are which people get obviously. And you kind of put it down and just scroll. So that's it for the retouching pretty much and actually let me just go over to the skin smoothing again around the eyes here loosen up the strength a bit and yeah and so that's done but what you need to do is make sure you go back here and mess around the levels a bit more so the exposure I want to kick it a bit down put a lead recovery low if you put it any higher you kind of get the features that you uh, undid in the first place back up. Contrast is you want to punch it a bit up. Leave the definition, saturation, pull the saturation a bit up, get the natural kind of um, paleness to the skin, not the paleness, the kind of glow to the skin you want. The vibrancy you want to put that a bit down. If you put any up, it'll get a bit too much. You want to get the kind of pink cheeks. Uh, the highlights you want to push them a bit. A little bit up, shadows, especially on the shadows. But the temper a bit. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. And if I um, compare it to the first one that we had, you can obviously see there's a big difference. Um, and yeah, it's, it's really easy. That took probably about five minutes to do, maybe even less. Um, that's even then, that's because I was going through it with you guys. But it's really, really easy to use Aperture 3 as a for a retouch uh, uh, software and yeah guys head over to the Mac App Store and you can pick it up there you can do a trial so that's been me Hash from Capture Media make sure you comment rate and subscribe thanks guys